everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new and historical WWE Elite 2-in-1 review on the WWE Elite Series 100 John Cena and Andre the Giant figures. Now this has been a long time coming. I have discussed my thoughts on Elite Series 100 a lot here on the channel. And I'm actually going to do this in a bunch of different videos reviewing Elite Series 100. I'm going to have a video up where I have all six displayed and I go one by one through each individual figure figure and it'll probably be like a very long review but I'm also going to be doing my normal two-in-one reviews for a few different pairings in the set so there will be a very long review we're going to do a my damn thoughts episode on elite series 100 but that long elite 100 review will be some different editing techniques and just some different b-roll and some just some different things I wanted to play with for elite series 100 specifically so you guys can look forward to that if you guys want to check that out I'd greatly appreciate it however man here is elite series 100 John Cena and Andre the Giant I feel immaculate just having Elite Series 100 in hand. I was a bit disappointed in it at the beginning, but I think that it may have the goods to turn my displeasure around. Of course, there was no way for them to live up to the hype of Elite 100, but I'm excited to try here today, man. We got some cool packaging. We got some excellent stuff going on with these figures. There are some things I don't like, which we'll get into, of course, but here is John Cena and Andre the Giant, the two figures that I'm probably most excited for in the entire set. Even though John Cena is kind of playing Jane, we have to get him out and take a look at him closely. Closely, and this Andre might be the best figure in the set and it could be an early contender for figure of the year of this year and we're only what nine ten days into the year so with all that being said let's get into these figures man starting out first with John Cena now you guys can see here this is our new packaging or not our new packaging it's the modern packaging but it is in different colors you guys can see here instead of the navy or blue color it has black solid packaging you get some like nice silver and white highlights and contrast going Going on image of the talents here now these images you get of the talents on the side in front of the packaging these are just illustrations these are not real photographs at least in my knowledge they're not great shot of the championship there on the library bookshelf style corner you can see the elite collection logo in white and red and then you do have series 100 on the side which is a very nice touch i love the way that looks of course, WWE logo up here, WWE logo here, beautiful shot of Cena there, certified authentic, you do have their names on the side, Elite Collection. Now one thing that's cool at the top, you guys will notice it has the white Elite Collection logo up here, but over here on this side where it says Series 100, it does have like this silver foil with this matte black Series 100 in there and it does shimmer, which is, I thought was pretty cool. However, I wish that was like gold or something. I feel like it would stand out a lot more, but or, or even white or something, but it doesn't look too bad, you know? Now I'm going to be honest, when they started mentioning Elite 100. I thought it would be white packaging with black and gold trim and shimmer and stuff. They didn't go with that, you know. Maybe the lights are too bright for me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so. But on the back, we do have a nice little bio read. If you guys would like to read it, you can pause it now. And then on the back of every packaging from Elite Series 100, we do get this OG artwork here of Cena, and this is by Jonathan Bartlett. You guys can see here, it says his name. It's got his signature, and then you got the nice art of Cena there. Pretty good art right there. I'd hang that on my wall, by God. But the rest of the figures in the wave, you have Andre the Giant, Rey Mysterio, The Rock, Becky Lynch, John Cena, and Stunning Steve Austin. Now, outside of that, that is pretty much Cena's package, but if you guys want to look at Andre, here's a shot of Andre. Very massive figure, as it should be for Andre the Giant, but there's the same illustration. You have a beautiful shot of Andre on the back with the wide eyes. I love that shot there. Jonathan did a great job on that. Another bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. Elite Collection logo, rest of the figures in the wave, and the same exact foil deals as the John Cena figure, man, but with all that being said, man, let's crack these guys out of their packaging take a look at our first figures from elite series 100 see if this wave is worth the 100 series of hype and find out what andre the giant and john cena are all about so here's Elite Series 100, John Cena and Andre the Giant out of the packaging, of course. We do have our gripes, of course. MDT doesn't go without the gripes. So we're going to dive into the gripes. We're going to dive into the things I love about these figures already. If you guys would like to grab these figures, you can do so over at ringsidecollectibles.com or wrestlingfigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Lots of great sales over there. But if you like the way these figures look already and you like what you see, you want to put a purchase in, go over there, pre-order them. I'm pretty sure they're on back order right now, but you can put in another order and wait on 
want them, but use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. As you guys know, John Cena is my personal favorite wrestler of all time, so I'm not going to hold anything back on this figure, but we are going to dive into John Cena's accessories and John Cena, and then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at Andre the Giant's accessories and Andre the Giant. Let's dive into it, man. WWE Elite Series 100, John Cena and Andre the Giant. All right, guys, so getting into Elite 100, John Cena's accessories. I mean, we're lacking a little bit here, but you do get some quality things. All right, so about the championship belt, a lot of interesting points right here. Cut this one lamp off to try and help with the lighting here. I feel like the exposure is a little bit too high here. However, on the championship, you guys will see, this is a center plate we've seen before. Now, I do believe they just used the rated R. Well, maybe not, because I think there was like a thing on the back of the rated R championship, but it does spin. Mine's a bit stuck, though, to be honest with you. It, it spun a little bit, but now it's like locked up, and I don't know really, I don't really know how to get that unstuck. You guys can see it like twirl just a little bit there. Yeah, it's honestly getting stuck there, but you guys see that it does, you can spin it. You just have to like, well, mine's like really tight, actually, but I like the rated R one was super loose, which was way better, but yeah, mine's stuck. Anyways, side plates are inaccurate because this is actually, you guys will notice that it features two WWE Champion side plates, but in 2005, it's supposed to have the Monday Night Raw side plate, and before this championship actually got released, every other WWE Championship that they've given us, including the rated R one, I couldn't find mine, always had the Monday Night Raw side plate like this, and if you even want to go further, they could have made it into a title they've never given us before, and it would have been the WWE Champion side plate and the SmackDown side plate, so it would have had the fist and it would have said SmackDown, because when John Cena originally won the championship and switched it over, it had a SmackDown side plate because he was on SmackDown, and then he got switched over to Raw in the draft, and he switched it to a Monday Night Raw side plate. So they could have done something new there, or they could have kept the Monday Night Raw, and then instead they gave us the two WWE Champion side plates, and I don't think the championship ever had two WWE Champion side plates with the spinner gimmick like this. It switched to two WWE Champion side plates, I think, under CM Punk's reign. And then when you go to the Elite 20 CM Punk Championship, the championship that came with Elite 20 Punk, it had the Monday Night Raw side plates. When I'm pretty sure every time he ever held the belt, it was the WWE Champion side plates. So it's just a whole bunch of rigmarole. Doesn't really matter. Not really. But it's it's definitely worth noting there. But they could have put the SmackDown one there and that would have been accurate. Outside of that, he also comes with a hat. Now this is the Ultimate Edition Cena hat. It is the Chain Gang hat here. We have seen this hat from Mattel before in the Defining Moments line with the first Defining Moments draft lottery Cena from 2005. And that is this OG right here. And you guys are going to notice that the new one is not accurate. Now these thick white stripes, I don't really know where they got that from. It's more of like thin with like some kind of light gray in the middle. And this one's kind of more accurate, but one thing that gets on my nerves about this one is they put C Nation on the back of this Chain Gang hat when it's supposed to say Chain Gang Life Sentence like it says here. This one, the Defining Moments hat is actually accurate. This one is not. He didn't start using that logo until 08, I believe. So, again, just sort of a mismatch there. I, I mean, I guess you could just leave it, but, you know, being Elite 100 and wanting to be super accurate would have been nice to get that Chain Gang Life Sentence on there. And this one also looks better to me because it has the white holes on there, which is accurate, and this one doesn't have any white holes on it. So it just looks a bit weird with the thick stripes and stuff, but you know what? I'm still gonna use it. I'll, you know, I'll get, I'll get away with it. Now, we also have the chain gang pendant here. Would have been much better as a loose chain or a workable chain, but this is the same exact chain gang chain that came with his first Defining Moments figure as well. And then Cena also comes with interchangeable hands. You have the mic holding hands, and of course, the infamous you can't see me hands, or five knuckle shuffle hands, or, you know, there's a few different, you know, different variations of the hands, but you get it. So getting into John Cena's figure itself, man, this does look to be a brand new head sculpt. It's not ringing any bells for me as far as any previous John Cena head sculpts, but I feel like it almost doesn't really look like a 2005 era of John Cena. I'm getting more of like a 2010, 2011, you know, 2012, somewhere in their version of Cena. I'm not really getting the 2005 version. Like, I feel like the hair isn't quite accurate, like that kind of boxy military haircut. Like, it's still there, but it's not as accurate as I would might like, but it's still a really good head sculpt. I think we're going to see this head sculpt moving forward on a lot of John Cena figures. I won't be shocked if we see this head sculpt maybe 10 more times before the year's over with basics and elites and ultimates and anything else we get. We have the giant jack torso for Cena as always. Massive arms. We got the chain gang bands, of course, which are great. And then they actually got this accurate with the word life armband or the WWE logo band, whatever you want to say there. He also has the word life, you know, underwear or undershorts, sliding shorts, whatever the hell you want to call those, compression shorts, 
and then you do have the light shorts that we have seen so many damn times man i mean it is time to retire this shorts mold we have seen it since elite series 3 and i mean my god i like the light blue jean look and the shorts and the knee pads and all this stuff down here i'm not getting any skin tone shipping which is nice but this shoe mold man my god can we please get a new shoe mold just jesus christ can we please get a new shoe mold we've seen it over a decade man pun intended we have seen it enough we've seen enough come on brad nonetheless i love john cena i do like this figure i think it works as a great standalone cena i think if you put some cloth goods on there and fix him up nice he's gonna be looking very fire also i may get a chain gang tattoo bro don't attempt me man like just a solid cg with that reticle on there don't attempt me bro do not attempt me but for this john cena articulation is basically the same not gonna get into that however i am gonna get into these god dang figure comparisons so for your cena figure comparisons you have the elite three cena which is the first elite cena we got you have the last main elite line cena that we've gotten so far and then you have his second ultimate here of course there's plenty more cenas you could throw up here but he's kind of embody everything we've seen from cena i know they can't really give him the ultimate shoes like i get that but damn man it's the same shorts mold look at this same torso same shorts same molds all the way down the only thing they changed is that this isn't the same now they got rid of that little ankle piece for the rotation but it's still the same exact shoe mold same exact shoe mold it's garbage they fall over it's time for something new man it is time for something new we've seen the shoe mold on so many different cenas and it is time to go it is time to go let's get something new in here let's get something fresh i would have loved that's kind of what makes this also disappointing because it's elite 100 they could have went all out and changed some different molds i mean even this cena ultimate has the same shorts mold they did change the shoe mold thank god but yeah i just i think the hair's just a little bit too curly looking i feel like it should be more straight like this one over here but yeah there's your cena figure comparisons we've come a long way man in 100 series you got the elite 3 the elite 100 i mean that is nuts you have an ultimate which absolutely poo on this figure back in the day between all the different goods but just to see the advances they've made and the improvements is just fantastic but this is the only thing holding their figures back man fix that ish so getting into andre the giant's accessories let's start off first we do have this necklace here or this cross necklace and this is actually supposed to be hulk hogan's i do believe so you got the cross there we've seen this multiple times with all the damn hogan figures we've gotten this year but i do believe this is supposed to be from 1987 which would be accurate with this championship and this look of Andre the Giant from the Piper's Pit interview segment or WWE segment that took place in 1987. It was Piper's Pit with Hogan and Andre and Heenan and Andre basically ripped the chain off, ripped his shirt off and it was like a whole big thing there. And then this first time in the line championship here with the long blue strap and the massive plates. It's got World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion here with the gold and the blue. It looks very fantastic. This is actually Andre's WWE title from 1987 that they were going to gift him. It was personally created, a personally created WWE Championship specifically for Andre the Giant, and it would have been presented to him had he won the WWE title at WrestleMania 3 in 1987. It was shown on one episode of WWE Primetime, actually, and they pretty much showed it off just to show the sheer size of the championship itself. You know, it really never got a real run as the established championship, but it is very sick that Mattel gave us this. I think that's amazing. I, like, that is truly incredible that they did that, and I think it's awesome. You got the dual-plated, like, silver and gold very very clean and epic and then outside of that we actually have brand new sized hands for our andre figures these are not the same as we got with his last elite you know that like elite 60 or whatever it was like the giant machine we have these choke slamming hands we have these fisted hands and these are actually not the same exact size this is the andre the giant elite hand and then we have a regular size hand so they are actually sizably bigger you know what i'm saying like they're not you know these hands aren't like gigantic but they're definitely bigger than the average hand so now we should hopefully be getting these hands with guys like Brock Lesnar guys like Braun Strowman things like that make those hands bigger because it makes the figure a lot more accurate and then for another size comparison you also get pointer fingers and this is another pointer finger uh, let's get the same side here so you guys can see so you guys can see there it is another bigger hand for Andre which makes sense I'm glad they got that attention to detail we've been waiting on sizable hands I know we've gotten it in the past and on rare occasions but that is all of your Elite Series 100 Andre Andre the Giant figure accessories. All right, guys, so getting into this Elite 100 Andre the Giant figure, man, I'm having so much fun. For some reason, this head sculpt looks so familiar to me, and I don't know why. Have we seen this before? I feel like we haven't seen it before, but it looks so familiar to me, so it won't be shocking if it, if we have seen it before. I know it's 
out the Elite 60, it's not that like WrestleMania, you know, like entrance greats deal with the, the ring that bring, you know, the ring cart or whatever the hell it was. I want to say it may have been the, the Hall of Fame 4-pack or something. I could be wrong though, you know, or maybe one of those figures. But going down into this torso, brand new figure from the neck down. I mean, it is beautiful with these beautiful sleeves, double joint arms with like the plaid pattern going on. I don't know why I said pattern like that. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Pattern going down. You have this nicely sculpted shirt in here, like the salmon color. Very, very clean looking. I do believe this is based off the Piper's Pit segment from 1987 with Hulk Hogan. You got the nice navy jeans in here, navy belt, newly sculpted legs, jeans. They do have pins in there, which is actually shocking, which makes me think these aren't newly sculpted, but they I feel like they are. And then you just have regular booted feet there for Andre, but my lord in heaven, man, this figure is freaking buttery smooth. I mean, dude, look at how, like, it's not loose at all. It feels so clean. You get the double jointed in here. He can move around fantastic. Decent little ab crunch in there. Flappy jacket. Ball joints here. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knee. You don't have lower leg swivel, which would be very, very nice, but you know what? We'll, we'll breathe with it because this figure is so damn good in the hand, but this Andre the Giant is the best Andre the Giant. I know it's very unique. You know, it's not your typical Andre the Giant, but oh my god, man. It just feels so good. It's undeniable. Some figures you just can't deny, and this one is undeniable. It feels so good in the hand. Go buy it right now. Oh, hell no. Now, I did sell my Hall of Fame four-pack Andre way back in the day, but here's that basic figure I was talking about. You know, it's got like the true effects head sculpt on there, and then here is the giant machine Andre, and you know, we've had our share of Andres over the years. We had, what, another main elite line with a Toys R Us exclusive. We had the Hall of Fame four-pack. I think we had a Legends Andre. You got the Elite 100 Andre, the Chase. You got this giant machine. I mean, we've had our share of Andres, man, but these are pretty damn nice. I think this is my favorite one ever. I need to track down the rest of them, of course, for the collection, but Andre figures are legendary, man, and that's just the, the bottom line. Now, for a couple more Andre the Giant figure comparisons for the Elite 100, we do have the new Build-A-Figure Mean Gene, and these are not the same sleeved arms. These are newly sculpted, like, gigantic sleeve arms. I don't know how we're gonna get you reuse out of this. Maybe an Omos in suit or something is what I would guess. I, I don't have any damn clue what we're gonna do there. However, actually, now that I look at it, bro, this might be Omos, uh, an Omos crotch, possibly? I, I can't tell right off the cuff, but then you have Hulk Hogan up next to him I thought was pretty cool, even though this is more of an earlier Hogan than this specific Andre. You get the point there, but it is cool to see these all up next to each other. I think it's badass, and uh, this Andre the Giant will absolutely attack you in your sleep like the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. You do get these, like, cool backgrounds that are unique to each superstar, so you guys can see on the back of the packaging there, there's the Andre background right there. It's got his giant handprint. You guys can see it matches up. And then John Cena's is over here. You guys can see, like, the gold, navy, and white. It's this background, but it doesn't have the John Cena art on there, so that's, like, the card backing for the figure that sits in the packaging. I thought we were going to get a big trifle background with this art, but I guess it's the box itself. Uh, that kind of threw me for a loop, but it is cool to include these, and you know, I guess you could get some usage out of these. I'm going to hold on to them for some dumbass reason. But I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 100 Andre the Giant and John Cena figure review, man. Had a ton of fun with these figures, of course, man. My only gripes really come from the John Cena being a lack of innovation, you know? I mean, we've seen, like I stated, we've seen this shorts mold, we've seen this shoe mold for so many years and so long. It is time to change it. It is time to get something new in here. We saw it with the Ultimate. I understand not putting Ultimate feet on this thing. Like, I get that. I think they could have got away with it, but you know what? I, I get it, but it is time for new molds. We need pinless. We need a new shoe mold that is not going to fall flat on its face and get loose over time and drive us up the damn wall. I think that the haircut on the John Cena is inaccurate. I don't think that the the face and the hair matches the time frame that this is supposed to be this is supposed to be portraying. Guarantee they put this head sculpt on a lot of Cena's going forward. And then they also got the graphic wrong on the hat and the uh, those thick bold stripes on the hat aren't accurate either. However, at the end of the day, this is a John Cena. I think if they would have included some cloth goods with him, it really would have put it over the top as well. And the WWE Championship side plates are inaccurate, which I stated before as well. But, you know, they're all little... Of course, I'm a John Cena diehard, so I'm going to dissect, the, dissect these things further and get into the, you know, the little bitty cricks and cracks and all the tiny things that I can dissect, of course. But, you know, I'm just pointing out these things because, you know, because they come to my brain and I'm like, yeah, that's inaccurate. That's inaccurate. This is that. This is that. But, you know, who am I? I'm just giving you guys facts in my
my opinions, but the Andre is freaking fantastic. It's just as good as I thought it would feel. It doesn't feel stiff at all, man. It's buttery smooth in the hand. It's buttery smooth to pose around. It looks great. I love the uniqueness of it. I gotta track down the chase. I think this is great. I love that they included his own personal WWE Championship from 87. I mean, this is just a truly beautiful, beautiful start to the wave with this Andre. Even though Cena is missing a whole lot of detail, if they would have included the cloth chain gang ba baseball jersey, I would have I automatically would have hit me right into the soul because that's a figure and a, and a look of Cena I've been wanting for years. And I think, you know, they probably could have got some bonus points had they not just given us the chain gang chain from the Defining Moments figure and actually included a chain, uh, you know, a workable chain. We've seen it in the past. We saw it from Jax as well. I even made a custom one. That would have been cool as well. I think that would have put that over the top. But that is going to wrap up the two-in-one review, man. I love both figures. I'll probably try to track down more of this Cena just for armbands and, you know, fix-ups of the future. I like that the WWE spinner does spin. You know, we haven't seen that since the Rated R Championship, which I think is unique. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up this video. If you guys would like to grab these figures again, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.